welcome back coaches today we're going to be continuing my how to use huddle series with episode number four in today's episode we're going to get into editing videos so personally i know it can be a pain if your filmers record too much and if they don't stop filming in between plays your clips can be anywhere from 30 seconds to five minutes long and i've actually had opponents send me full game films of five minute clips rather than individual plays also so i know what it's like so today, that's what we're going to talk about is how to edit your videos and how to clip your plays. That way you don't run into the five minute clip problem, or if you do, you know how to fix it. All right, so let me switch over to Huddle and we'll get started. Okay, so I logged into Huddle. I came over to Huddle Classic. I went to library and now I'm over here coming down to my playlist that I want to play today for the video. And I have named it how to use Huddle editing and clipping. All right, so I'm going to click on that. Um, and today's actual playlist is the 2014 huge big 12 game of tcu versus baylor when they were both undefeated and then of course that game infamously kept them both out of the college football playoff that year but anyway and it's looking at baylor's offense but we're not really going to get into any of that it's just the playlist for the sake of the video so here's what you do you select your playlist you click modify click edit video and then here you go it'll take you to this little video editor screen you can see I've already got several clips cut up already in different plays. Uh, but I'm going to come all the way down here to play 11 for now, or clip number 11, which is 19 minutes long. And I'm going to start clipping this and show you exactly how to do this. So the main thing you start with is split. Split is going to be your main portion of cutting clips up here. So first, since the play is about to begin, we'll push play. We'll let it run through. All right, he's tackled him down right there. So I'm going to pause it and push split. All right, now that was only a four-second clip. I'm not a huge fan of four-second clips, so I could do this. I could combine it back down with that 19 minutes and reclip it, All right? So that's what I'm going to do. Play. I'm going to let it go. Okay, it went a little over five seconds, six seconds. All right, and he stands up. Now I'm going to split it. Okay, so now that's a six-second clip, and I clipped it immediately uh, before the clip changed. All right, so now I'm going to go back to 19 minutes. Let the play run through. All right, he's tackled. He's down. Five, six, seven second clip this time. Split it again. Double check to make sure you like it. Okay, so now there you can see at the beginning of this clip, it also has the end of the previous clip. So I'm going to try to split this. In this case, it does not let you split it if it's less than a second. So we got a problem here again. So we're going to combine the six and seven second together. So this is just another excellent technique here by Huddle. You can combine it, recombine it. You can also undo any clipping or deleting that you've made. All right. So here, let's make this a five second clip right there. That way I know I can clip right here, two seconds off. Ooh, it actually says one second, but it was two. So now this should be a perfect six second clip. All right. There was a snap handoff. He's tackled. There we go. All right, now let's move on to the next one. So again, hey, it did. It let me clip a one-second clip. So the unfortunate thing is here. So I'm going to undo that, actually, because the unfortunate thing here is you have that beginning clip at the beginning there. But in your film, if it's a five-minute clip, you're not going to have this. All right, this is just the video editor who – Cut this into only offensive clips of Baylor's offense to begin with. He didn't leave much time. And honestly, that's probably not his fault, whoever did this, because Baylor and Art Brow's offense at the time was that warp speed offense, you know, really up-tempo, veer and shoot offense, you know, vertical passing game with really wide splits. And they even had a timer going there, right there, ABC, to show you it was only 15 seconds in between the previous play. And so I don't, I mean, I can see the guy had trouble clipping it himself because of how fast Baylor was going. And so that's the way it worked. So we're just going to skip that play. And that's going to have a little, it's going to have a little distraction at the beginning, clipping in from another video. But I'm only going to use this for learning purposes anyway, this specific video. So it's not a big deal. All right. So there, now we're going to clip it here. Go back, delete that excess. Four seconds. Don't need it. All right, there's a snap. Incomplete pass. So I'm going to stop it there at eight seconds. Six seconds, excuse me. 
All right, now TCU's on offense. So I guess it isn't all focused on TCU's offense. It's or I mean on Baylor's offense, it's both. I have like I said, I have not watched this film. I need to. Um, and that's kind of why I'm clipping it a little bit anyways today. So there's Trayvon Boykin. That's caught and tackled there. So I'm gonna clip it right there. All right, now I'm gonna this is a change. Baylor's they're not as fast as Baylor's offense, but I'm gonna clip it right here. Delete that excess two seconds, and there it starts on the motion. All right, throw out of bounds. I'm going to clip it right there. All right, clipping it right there, deleting that excess three seconds. So you get the point. So that is basically the process, the pattern you continue to do, is you clip it wherever you want it, and then that you go back and delete that excess in between. All right, that way it has the smooth, each play is one clip of six to 10 second play or whatever it happens to be. It might be a 15 second play on, on every rare occasion. It doesn't happen. Uh, but then that way it's a smooth transition from one play to the next. All right. Then the next and final step is you just save your progress. So you come up here in the top right hand corner, you click the save button, and then you just go back and watch your playlist as you would, as you would study any other film. And so the only thing about this though, is, the processing time does take a little while, so it's important to let it sit for five minutes or so. It might take a little while to fully process all the changes and clips that you edited out and deleted or whatever, and so it might take a little while. So I always just push save, let it save, and then come back to it. So here, I'm going to go ahead and push save, and there you go. It even says heads up after your changes save. It might take a few minutes before they play. Okay, and so after it has processed, then you just go click on it and watch it through. Big game underway. Also has his full complement of flanking Rice. He's to the decision way and set in the shot. 14 of seven. Open up. And look at Sam Carter opening possession. Right on the money. So here you can see and this Lynn is the smooth transition of plays. Football. You can see as soon as you change it to the next clip, that, that play clip that. That play begins. The 33 yard line. Boykin fires a slim amount of time as a quarterback has been astounding. He's I think that was the last play that I stuck right there. Over the amount of time yep, it as was. And that is pretty much it. So that's where I'm going to wrap up today's episode of How to Use Huddle. Remember, my videos come out every Tuesday night at 7 30, so be sure to tune in. If you have any questions for me, feel free to leave your questions in the comments below. That's always the easiest way to reach me. If you enjoyed this video or took away anything from it, please click subscribe. Check out some of my previous videos right here in the middle of the screen here. And like always, thanks for watching.